Welcome to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West. This is a power verse for the day for March the 15th, 2022. And it's a message I call, How Do You Live? And it's from Romans 8, verse 5. Now, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell so you get notified every time I roll one of these messages out, which is every day. And give me thumbs up, make comments, share the video with someone else so they can get this Bible teaching. And that's that's what we do. We just teach, teach the Bible straight from the Bible, teach the scriptures. So how do you live? Well, that's a good question. How do we live? Biblically, you can live one of two ways. And it really kind of comes down to this. One of these two ways is how you live. According to the sinful nature, literally according to the flesh, or you can live by the Spirit. We need to live one of those two ways. We will live one of those two ways. Uh, the day before I left Germany I was to come home from, from the army, I was in a German bar and in my army fatigue, my little sergeant stripes on and all that kind of stuff. And I was drinking beer with a German guy who was in civilian clothes. And he told me he was a lieutenant in the German army. And he said, since you're a sergeant in the U.S. Army, you have to salute me, he said. Well, I was in uniform. He was not. I did not have to salute him. I explained to him that uh, in graphic form that I was not about to salute him. And it wasn't long until we stepped outside and I ended up hitting him in the mouth. Now, that's living according to the sinful nature. It's also exceedingly stupid. But recently, I told about being held at gunpoint for six hours back in 19, I think, 82 or so, and talking and praying my way out of that situation. And then I took the guy out for coffee the next day, had a Bible study with him, led him to the Lord, and baptized him. That's living life according to the Spirit. Look at Romans 8, verse 5. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. How do you live, how do you leave living life by the sinful nature and show up or arrive at living life by the Spirit? How do you change? Now, verse 3 of Romans 8 talks about God sending his son to be a sin offering. That offering condemning sin in sinful man means it does away with it and we don't live in that anymore. And it's gone forever, no matter how we live. Verse 4 talks about the righteous requirements of the law being met in us. Jesus meets sin by him. He never sinned and he passes that righteousness on to us. Jesus never sinned. And he died to take our sin on him and pass his righteousness over to us to stand for us and be our righteousness. Jesus is our righteousness. When we take Jesus, he removes our sin, plants his righteousness in us and begins changing us. And it's a lifelong deal, but he begins changing us from the inside out, making us the work of of God. And when God changes us, he moves our mind from, from sinful nature, like punching a German guy in a bar, to sharing Jesus with a guy who 24 hours earlier held a gun on us. Or he changes our mind to be on spiritual desires, not sinful desires. He changes us. He makes us better. So how do you live? Do you live by sinful desires or by desires of the Spirit? It all has to do with letting Jesus in to change you from the inside out. Let him in. Surrender to him. He will do exactly that in your life. Bless your heart, and I will see you tomorrow.